Right fellas, welcome back. Welcome back to another video on the van. Um, this is actually a bit of a sad video to go into because it's kind of like the end of the restoration of the van. Um, it isn't the end of the van totally because it's a mini, there's always going to be stuff that wants doing on it. And also there's bits on it which I'm not 100% happy with, which I think I'm going to go back to to try and improve it out a little bit, a little bit more. But 90% of the restoration um, I'm fairly, fairly happy with. It's just real, real niggly bits now. It's I wouldn't say it's kind of restoration work, it's me just being the way I am and wanting things as good as possible. So I'll be revisiting all that stuff in kind of the weeks and, and months to come, as and when I get time, obviously, with I want to get stuck into the Cooper S as well. But before I start waffling too much, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's watched the videos over the past 10 months since I started restoring the van in November. Kind of the, the YouTube channels grew from sort of 500 subscribers to I'm at just over 3,000 now, which is just absolutely insane that that many people have enjoyed what they see, are interested in what I'm doing with my cars and you know want to give their feedback and thoughts and I really do appreciate you guys watching because honestly without, without you guys I wouldn't be coming in here making these videos and putting them out on the internet because there'd be no point in me doing it if people weren't watching. Um, so I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's watched and supported. And obviously give give their advice and stuff and i want to give a bunch of shout outs as well to all my friends who've been involved with the rebuild on the van so i'm just going to name them all quickly who's kind of been involved and if you watch the videos you'll kind of get an understanding of what they've been involved in so first and foremost is will who initially helped me start the restoration on the van with whipping the engine out this was when i was only going to paint the engine paint the engine bay and a couple of little trims on the van and then it literally just went into a full-blown respray and it kind of things got well out of hand but I'm quite happy things have gone the way they have because if I hadn't done it this way I wouldn't have ended up with a finished product as good as what it is so I want to say a big thank you to Will for uh, getting the engine out with me and obviously kickstarting the restoration Alex Hart as well they've come out and stick the engine back in and Alex Hart always goes on about the fact that he got an engine in my minivan and didn't scratch anything so I appreciate you for that Alex um, I'll get you a little chuffy badge for that as well mate who else as well? So, Will's, Will was back as well um, with the likes of Keith Miller. He popped up, I think he was watching football in Manchester one Saturday and said, look, I'll, uh, I'll come get stuck in. So Keith put bits in like the pedal box and other bits and bobs. That guy worked so fast in the minute, I couldn't even keep up with what he was doing. So Alex Hart was here as well on that day and obviously Will getting things buttoned back up on the van. Once we got to that stage, Steve got involved. Um, so I've got absolutely no idea with electrics and how they work. Um, I'd love to know more to know more about them. And obviously, I'm, as time goes on, I'm trying to learn a little bit more about it. So I want to say a big thanks to Steve for getting the wiring loom in, walking me through the process and letting me just kind of watch what he was doing. So really appreciate that as well, Steve. And then Mr. Jeffries as well, who managed to get the van running, which was probably the last video I put up, second to last video I put up on the van, so things have moved quite quickly, quickly since then. So yeah, so those guys, massive, massive thank you. And also there's been people in the background who've give me advice or told me whether I should do this or do that, and I appreciate everyone who's had a part in giving me advice, and like I say, watching the videos and stuff, really do appreciate it. So yeah, she's finished. So like I said, there's still some little things that need doing, but at the end of the day, it is a minute and I'll just have to get over it and just work on it. So the van's not gonna die a death, it is gonna uh, still appear in the YouTube videos. And the bit that I'm excited about the most is I can really get stuck into the Cooper S now as well and get cracking with that one because I've not got a massive list for it, but I've got loads of little jobs on it that I wanna do to kind of get it to that next level. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a great car now, but hopefully once I've finished with it and come show season next year, if we get a show season due to coronavirus, that car is gonna be right up there with the uh, with the best ones I think that's what I'm hoping anyway so right I'm going to quit the waffle and I'm going to cut you to some b-roll when the van was parked outside and I've put some buttery shots so I've also bought a new camera so if you guys think the audio is better and the, the obviously the, the quality of the footage is better do let me know as well because I watched my videos back on a tv a couple of weeks ago and I thought that looks naff on a TV. Um, when you actually watch it on a phone or like a little tablet, it looks all right. But when you watch it on a TV, all the footage, footage is like pixelated. So hopefully that's a little bit better. And obviously getting a GoPro as well. When I come to doing like 
the videos for how the clutch works and driving out and days out and stuff like that I can use that GoPro it's quite quite versatile in what what it can do so right so without further ado this is my 1972 Leyland minivan which is uh, just had a cosmetic restoration so three two one So, as you can see, it looks absolutely sick. I'm super, super made up. The finishing touch for me is obviously the sign writing. Now, when I started the, the van restoration, I was absolutely gutted when I had to get this taken off because obviously I had to for a full respray. And since the day it got took off, I've been itching and itching and itching to get it back on. And I just thought, I'm going to leave it right to the very end um, because that for me is just a finishing touch on the van. So super, super happy with that. I didn't do any video of obviously getting the sign writing done because I've done a video on that before and I'm not going to bore you with it, bore you with it twice. I'll leave a link to that video in the description if anyone's interested in how you do the traditional sign writing. So like I say, that's not a vinyl wrap. It is hand painted on a chap who lives in, um, in Marple, Damien White Signs. His work is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, so anyone who's new to the channel might be thinking, what does that mean? So. My dad unfortunately passed away in 2014 and myself and my dad used to work for obviously cast construction and um, doing kind of barn conversions and other bits and bobs in general kind of building work. My dad was more of a ground worker um, and I was obviously doing the carpentry and joinery and stuff like that so as a team we was, uh, we was quite good. So obviously cast construction so the work the cast has got quite a lot of relevance to family members so if anyone doesn't know C stands for Clive, which is my dad's dad, which is my granddad. Alan is obviously my dad, and then Sandra's his mum, which is my nana. And obviously Toon, as were the uh, the tunes, or Toonies, as everyone likes to refer to us. So, yeah, it's got a massive, massive meaning behind it, and I just think it's so cool to have it on the van as well. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just a real, real nice touch for me. Um, and this van now is certainly worthy of wearing a name that means so much to me as well. So, major, major happy with it. In terms of bits that want finishing on it, which I need to do, winter time, I am considering doing the subframe. Now, the rear subframe is completely solid. 
there's no rust on it, no messing about, it's literally just a bit dirty and grubby. And me being me, I want it, I want it to be a lot cleaner, so I'm going to have a chat with Minicanics um, or a few of my mates and see if someone wants to get involved with the subframe rebuild, I'll just give it to Minicanics and they can they can do it. I've already spoken with Minicanics as well in the past about potentially doing it in winter time. So that's something I still want to still wanna do on the van. Little bits on the interior, like the steering wheel, I want to get that restored. Spare one second. I'll take it off the tripod and uh, show you inside. So yeah, there's bits inside that I want to do. So the steering wheel, I want to get that restored. Um, just get that re-sprayed. Headliner, I want to tidy that up a little bit. Or maybe even buy a new one. And then I'm unsure what to do with the back of the van. Whether to leave that as it is, or carpet it, or whatever. But that stuff I can do as and when I want to. Um, it's not major work that the van needs. Hang on. Mark one life. You have to slam the doors. Uh, engine bait. I'm going to shove this thing back. Again, engine bay is 95% complete. Literally all I need to do is stick another air filter fixing in there. I need to speak with DSN actually because them fixings don't seem long enough to go down to the back. Or maybe there's something else that I've not noticed. So that needs a little bit of further investigation. Got to stick my crankcase breather on once it's been powder coated. And that is pretty much it. Apart from a good clean, that engine bay is done. I am going to trim these down as well because when I fitted the compact heater, I... Uh, left these hoses deliberately long so I could position the heater where, where I wanted to, pull all the slack out of the hoses and obviously I can trim them down at the uh, at the top end but I'm not going to do that until the van's outside because there'll be cooler in them pipes and I'll need to swill it off with the, with the hose pipe and stuff. Front registration plates on which I've been doing of an evening I just kind of come in and do little little jobs here and there. I've still got the hub caps to fit as well. Now the reason I've left these hub caps off is underneath this inner wing here there's a motor which obviously controls the clutch now when it goes to the adaptions place I'm guessing this wheel will need to come off so that's why I've left the hubcaps off because those hubcaps are an absolute nightmare to get off um, I've been looking at a couple of different ways I can make those easier to come off as well so that'll be something I'll be doing in a future in a future video also hang on stick you back on stick you back on there also, the van just wants a real, real good detail. So even though it looked great on camera, when you get up close to it, there's still some um, some sanding marks in it from kind of when they've when the body shop's obviously flattened it back and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the van to a local detailing place near me. It will be able to do a paint correction, either a one stage or two stage machine polish on it. And then what I'm probably going to do is get a ceramic coating on it to literally just lock everything in. Because a ceramic coating is more durable than single stage paint. So this isn't base and lacquer. It is um, cellulose, so it's literally just one one stage paint. So one stage paint's a lot softer than, than base and lacquer. So yeah, there's still plenty more to be, to be doing on it. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Like I say, thank you very much for everyone's support over the past months and week of sort of weeks and months as um i've been doing the the van and uh i shall uh, leave you with that one and uh i shall catch you probably me now just trying to think what i've got next i've washed the cooper s i've got a few little jobs to do on that so it might be an episode on the cooper s or if a couple of weeks have gone past this will have been to the adaptions place which is going on the 28th of this month actually this may be back and I might be taking this thing out for a spin and having a drive and actually enjoying the fruits of my labour um, because I've lost quite a few weeks of my life in the engine bay alone and that radiator gave me uh, absolute nightmares. So thank you very much for watching guys. As always, get in the comment section and I shall uh, catch you in the next one.